weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Jesse Gunkel, two-time recipient of the Louisiana Association of Broadcasters Award for Best Weathercast. Welcome back. Well, it's hard to believe we're inching closer and closer to the beginning of the 2021 hurricane season. It looks it kind of just seems like we got out of 2020. Well, here's the deal. A preliminary forecast came out today from the experts at Colorado State, and here is the latest information once again. We're calling for a very active season. We're looking at above average named storms. We're talking 17. That's the original forecast. Obviously, a lot can change in the coming months. Remember, last year we ended up with 30 named storms, and on average, we should be sitting around 12. So you can see 17 is a lot. Hurricanes on average should be about six. Looks like the forecast is going just a hair above that at eight. And as you see here, major hurricanes, that's a category three and above now sitting at four. And again, just remember that a lot can change as we move forward, but it looks like right now because of a weak La Nina, well, we're not going to see all that wind shear that we need to keep those systems from developing in those main areas out in the Atlantic. So for us, even closer to home, it's still very active. We got through a very nasty night out there as we did have a pretty decent band of showers and thunderstorms. Well, we're gearing up for another one and another one going into Friday night early on Saturday. You can see our next system moving in. A lot of moisture moving back inland into this next system. It's a very unstable environment. You can see that the SPC has already placed portions of the viewing area underneath an enhanced risk at this point that southern Mississippi and portions of east and west Feliciana, St. Helena and Tangipahoa Parish a little bit further south. We're talking Baton Rouge, Denham Springs and all the way down through Prairieville under a slight risk and the further south underneath a marginal risk. But again, the concern is that we got the possibility of all types of severe weather. We're talking flash flooding, lightning, Large hail, damaging winds, I think, are greatest threat, but there's also that possibility in this type of situation that we could see isolated brief tornadoes out there. Very similar to what we saw last night just around the Watson area. There was an EF0 tornado confirmed out there earlier this afternoon. So as you see, the key is you got to be very vigilant and be very mindful. And right now the timing looks like it's fluctuating uh, quite a few hours. Models are all over the place. Some are going right after midnight until early morning. This model going right around mid morning. Some are actually pushing it back until early afternoon on Saturday. So again, a lot's going to change as we get closer to this system. As you see those storms quickly drive through, then we'll get a little bit of clearing, maybe some possible showers late on Saturday. Saturday, but by the time we get to Sunday, front drives through the wind shift a little bit, clear the skies, and we get back to a dry forecast, but very shortly. So here are those threats. High damaging winds, I think the greatest threat at this point, now sitting in that higher category, but there still is the chance for isolated tornadoes and large hail. So have multiple ways to receive warnings and stay alert. I can make sure you download our free app for those alerts if this storm does arrive during the overnight hours. Clouds tonight, look for a little bit of fog out there, but we've got the possibility. Obviously, our top story, more severe weather Friday night heading into Saturday. Chance for heavy rain at times, and then as you see moving into Sunday, we'll get a short break, but it looks like we've got more showers and storms heading into next week and potentially another round of severe weather come Wednesday and Thursday. Live tower cam, it's gorgeous at this hour, 83 blue skies, but guess what? Clouds return overnight, and then we're starting to set ourselves up. We're really looking at a transition day tomorrow on Friday, so we're talking 84 out there, the possibility of more severe weather overnight heading into Saturday. Storm should eventually clear by Saturday afternoon. Temperatures still very warm and above average by about 5 to 8 degrees. Some sunshine, beautiful on Sunday. And then as you see moving into next week, the possibility of some rain and even some cooler temperatures. Highs in the 70s, overnight lows falling back into the 50s.